Today we are going to learn how to use constraint satisfaction to solve problems. We will use it to solve a Sudoku puzzle. Sudoku is a number game played on a 9 by 9 grid. The board starts with some squares filled in and it's the player's job to fill in the rest obeying three rules. Each number may only appear once in each row, each column, and each 3 by 3 grid called a unit. The game is over when every square has been filled in and obeys each rule. Before we try constraint satisfaction, we'll look into a brute force approach at solving the puzzle. The brute force method goes row by row, trying each possible outcome until the solution is reached. In this example, we'll start with the first square in the first row at the first available number, 1. We then move to the next square and try the next available number, 2. But there's another 2 in the same row, so it can't fit. We then try the next number, 3, which also fails because there's already a 3 in the row. The next number, 4, fits because there are no conflicts. We assign 4 to that square and move to the next empty one. We try values starting with the lowest unused numbers and eventually use 5. This process continues for each space in the row until we find the end. But there's a problem. The only available number in the last square is a 9, which conflicts because there's another 9 in that column. We must go back to the previous square and try a different value and then move forward and try again. This produces another conflict because 8 already exists in that column, so it must go backtrack even more. This continues until the entire puzzle has been solved. If we compare the first row with the solution, we can see that the first attempt failed to place any numbers in their correct spaces. This is the problem with brute force techniques. Although they find a solution, it requires searching all possible outcomes, which can take a very long time. In the worst case, it would take over 600 million steps to solve a 9x9 puzzle. In order to speed the process up, we need a way to eliminate large portions of the possible outcomes that we know violate the rules. This is what the constraint satisfaction technique does. A constraint satisfaction problem is defined by three things, a list of variables, in this case the 81 squares, a domain for each variable, in this case the numbers 1 through 9, and a list of constraints, in this case the three rules of the game. To solve the problem, we need to define what a solution is. For a Sudoku problem, the problem is complete when every variable has been assigned a value and none of them violate the constraints. The search process is sped up by narrowing down the domain of each variable. Take this square, for example. Because of the predetermined values in its row, column, and unit, its domain is reduced to just four because all the other values are taken. Thus, the value is found for the square without doing any searching. This method is further improved down by updating each affected square after an update. In the previous example, four would be removed for the domain of any related squares. This method quickly narrows down the domain of each variable, meaning there are significantly less values to check. The solution is arrived at much quicker using constraint satisfaction to regulate the variables.